everybody, and welcome back to some more Legend of Grimrock 2 Dungeon Time. I'm excited. I love little dungeons in this game. They're not little, they're big. I like dungeons in this game. They're really fun, and they're the best designed part of this entire game, um, which was very similar to how Legends of Grimrock Run 1 was, since Legends of Grimrock 1 was entirely dungeon based. Uh, either way, I'm excited to keep on playing, and I'm hoping. Okay. Uh, that if there's a Legends of Grimrock 3, they expand more on this whole little idea of a semi-open world that they've currently got going. Alright, so down, there's two ways down. Let's go ahead and close this, just in case. I want to do a little bit of exploration first. Uh, I'm curious how big this dungeon is going to end up being. Where's this go? Is this back up? Yeah, alright, I was here. Look, I get turned around, alright? It happens. So through here, we haven't been over here yet. Sounds like... It sounds like uh, some skeletons. These catacombs were built as the final resting place for the Wormbound family who, for countless generations... Sorry. Oh. There we go. I just don't want him to come out from behind me and attack me. Uh, for countless generations, acted as envoys and ambassadors between the dragons and the other sentient species of the realm. The long-lasting truce was broken when Zerent and Orul Wormbound stole an egg from the nest and escaped to the Isle of Nex with the hatchling on board their airship. Oh, which must be the dragon we saw early in the game. The master rarely grants wishes, but for their great services, he granted the Wormbounds the gift of immortality. I'm gonna assume immortality means, uh, them being undead. It's never quite as it seems, my friends. I feel like there could be a lot of secrets in this dungeon that I'm going to end up missing. Alright, cool. So that just goes around. So let's go check out that other room. Is there? Is this just uh, kind of like a stopping off point, I guess? Oh, shit. Okay. Hey! I thought I heard you. Wow, three times a miss, huh? Okay. Well, I'm gonna have to sit here and fucking tank your asses because I don't want to let the other guys in yet. Let's move. All right, now we got Quill starving in the back. One down, all right. Double miss. All right, now we can play uh, the topsy-turvy game here. Oh, oh, nope, I'm stuck. Never mind. No topsy-turvy game, just stucky-turvy game. All right, well, if you enrage, if you can enrage Northern Lion in the process so he can do more damage to you in the next round, uh, I'll be a happy guy. Okay, can we get something down here? There we go. All right, Quill, you're hungry. Luckily for you, we went fishing recently. I'm going to pop this. Beautiful. So where did they come from? Looks like here. Nope, here. A bomb, some uh, weeds here. Now look, this place should be completely and utterly overflowing with skulls. If there are not a lot of skulls in this catacomb, I'm gonna be upset, man. That's all I'm saying. I'm gonna be a cranky Mathis. Okay, so we were here, obviously. Looking for some secrets, not seeing any. Okay. You are a creepy motherfucker. Oh, shit, I can't move! I can't move! He's paralyzed. Oh, shit. I'm paralyzed in fear? Because that's what I think it should be. I would be paralyzed in fear as well. Oh, shit! F this thing. Ring around the rosy all day long on this guy. Okay, it's a temporary power. He's like, he's got the kissy face, man. Look, dude. I don't want to make out with you. I'm sorry, it's just, you're just not my type. Holy crap. All right, give him that. Mm, 
plus 12, then minus... Oh. There it is. Plus 4, plus 4. Doesn't really matter. Leg injury, no regeneration. Let's give you... Potion. Plus 2 protection, plus 1 vitality. Not that it really matters. Yeah, we can just drop those. All right. Okay, looking good. That is a, the smoochy kissy monster I'm not a huge fan of. Oh, bullets, I am a huge fan of, though. All right. Well, so far, it doesn't look like there's anything on this side other than the kissy smoochy mo- Never mind. Secret room. Secret room. Alright, look. This is some bullshit. Tribal spear! For a split sec, I thought this was a coffin. Hard stone bracelet. Let's look what this does. Three protection, ten accuracy. Holy crap. I hear the kissy monsters. Not why, not till I figure this out. Two evasion. Critical strike chance. So I'm going to give this to him. And then we'll give this to him. Alright. Was it worth it? I'd say so. Where's the kissy smoochy monster? I heard him. Maybe not. Other side, probably. He might have been, like, through a wall or something. Hey. Alright, chill out. I don't want to use my bullets on you if I don't have to. You should never miss now. Okay. Alright, this sucks. Come on. Huh. We're going to go ahead and drink a potion. Come on, potion! Alright, there we go. Things are looking good now. Back under control. Saving the bullets. Saving the bullets if I can. If we could level up soon, that would be nice. There we go. 365 damage, man. That's that crit chance speaking for you. I'll take that. I could use more or better swords. I feel like we haven't come across good swords in a long time. Can I just pop his head off and like dust off his uh his skin? I'm sure it'd fall off pretty flaky and quickly. That looks interesting. I think it's just a candle though. Also, who's lighting the candles? Who's coming down here every day and lighting these suckers? Cuz it's just gross and you have nothing better to do with your life. Kind of curious what this glowing light is. Whoa, a flail. Does it count as a heavy weapon? Heavy weapon, 12 to 36, 18 to 55. Ignores 10 points of enemy armor, though. Cooldown, 0.5 seconds. Powerful is 30% chance of stunning the enemy. We'll try out the flail. It ignores their armor. And we are coming across enemies with armor. All right, we'll rest up in here. It's a nice little area to kind of gather your wits and move on. Okay. Is it dark? Uh, this is a new area. This looks like a puzzle of some sort with 10 billion switches. That's being pressed. That's being pressed, and that's being pressed. That's what I'll try. That one. That one. It worked. I don't know what I opened, but it worked. Okay. Sounds good to me. Was it over here? Oh, it opened, uh, so I get, like, all this item armor and stuff now. Wait, did it shut on me? It did. Lame. 
We already have a full helmet, so we can actually drop this. It's a bomb, and that's a crossbow. None of this was worth it. Anything in the catacombs over here? Not really. This wasn't really worth it. I guess if I didn't have the helmet, it would have been worth it. But because I already did, it wasn't... Hey, buddy! Where'd you come from? Look, dude. I don't know how you swung. You were at a weird angle. Alright, whatever, man. You know what I can do? I can play this game with you. Uh, uh. I was hoping that, that was going to work. Did not. Playing a little open and closing game like crazy. So above me, yeah, that's the blue crystal. Is this like a puzzle? Like this shelf looks like I could put something on it. No. It does look like I can put something on it though. No secrets. I hear you, kissy monster. There you are. Hup. Hup. You know what? We'll, uh. Alright, ow. Oops. Whatever. Fire! I'm just gonna fire magic everything. That just seems to the best way to go about it. Now, I have to stay close to you. Whatever. Works for me. Let's go ahead and rest up. Just charge up, smack them real hard, and be done with it. Alright, so you have some fish here. We need more food. Plate gauntlets. I think I have plate gauntlets already. I do. And he doesn't, he can't wear heavy armor yet. And I don't want to, like, over encumber him with heavy armor and bring his evasion down any further than it already is. Which is why I've been avoiding giving him heavy armor for those who are probably freaking out about it. Is it a poor game decision? Possibly. Has it really adversely affected me? Not to the point where I've lost, so... We've really not come across a point in this game where I'm, like, completely overwhelmed. And that's a nice feeling to have. Let's go up here for now. Not a lot of puzzles in this one, kind of just very direct. Interesting. That looks like... Oh. What is going on here? There's a key over there, it looks like. Hmm. I'm not sure if that's really... I don't... That, that's got to be a puzzle of some sort. Another time. Puzzle for another time. We'll have to kind of deeply look into that sooner or later. But right now, we can kind of keep exploring, I think, and be okay with that. We have definitely been down there, and this is... Uh, we haven't been to that door over there, though. Hmm. Have we been over there? Okay! Where the hell did you guys come from? Look. I don't know if that was worth burning a uh, bullet for. I was hoping that was going to stun the enemy. Alright, alright, alright. Just want you dead, because you're the ranged guy. There we go. And I can focus on these assholes. Nice. You should be almost dead. There we go. Alright, well that worked. I got a scroll. Scroll under the under and over and all over again and over. Okay, what? <laughs> I'm sorry, what? <laughs> under and under. 
Uh, oh, okay, what? Under and under and over and all over again and over. Okay. That's a puzzle. My guess would be the puzzle for over here. Because you can see, I very clearly have already explored everything. I really don't know what it's trying to say. Let's try to get up here for a second here. So the catacombs are actually pretty small. Under and under. I'm curious where these would fall to actually. Usually they're somewhere good. This just goes into here, which I'm pretty sure doesn't mean anything. Yep. Alright, so that under and under thing has to... Has to mean something. That doesn't do anything. was hoping. Wait, where am I? Why am I? Why can't I go through there? Why did I think I could go through there? Is the the more important question. I was like, I was, I was just over here. Why didn't I go up? Oh, right. There's a dead wall, dead end wall over there for some reason. Under and under. I'm very, very confused. I don't know what that means. But we can flop through and see where this leads. This moved. Ah! Alright, let's see where it goes. <laughs> Who's got the broken legs? Alright, here's the problem. Can't fucking move. Whoops! Damn it! We need to be down there. Alright, let's save it. Because we need to be down there. And if we need to, we can come back. Like, if we end up losing, we can go back through. Okay. I'd rather move slowly, but still be moving. This is... This is a ticking. I can hear a ticking. Wait, this has nothing to do with anything? You can hear the ticking. I know I hear a ticking. What is that? What does that have to do with? Not seeing any secret buttons or anything. Under and under. And over. This is like straight up nothing down here. I don't know. I don't know. This should move though. There's a key I don't even have. Alright, there's a puzzle I'm missing. Uh, I'm going to have to take a look and see what that's all about and see where that's all about curious what did i miss uh but we'll take a look at that next episode so thank you guys so much for watching as always i hope you enjoyed it if you did come back tomorrow more grim rock 2 consider dropping a like your support means the world to me and as always i'll see you next time Bye bye